In this video, we're going to show you how this variable resistance flex sensor works. We've attached it to a multimeter, and you can read the resistance on the multimeter screen. The further it's flexed, the higher the resistance. When it's straightened out, it's somewhere around 9K. When it's fully flexed, it goes all the way up to somewhere around 22K. Now we can read this variable resistance output with our reactor controller we can actually display it live on the configuration screen. We're going to show you that now. This is how you set parameters of when you want an event or a relay to trigger. Here we have the flex sensor set up with the configuration utility. And you can see the flex sensor actually changing analog to digital input 1 when it's flexed or released. You'll see whenever it's fully released, it registers somewhere around 117 or so. Whenever it's fully flexed, it registers all the way up to about 172 to 173. Here we're going to show you the flex sensor in action, actually controlling relays. This variable resistance reading has been tied to all eight relays. The relays have been configured to come on at different points of resistance or different points on the A to D scale. So when the sensor's flexed, more relays come on, and whenever it's released, the relays go off.